We've been tracking remote employees in Northwest for about 12, 15 years. Started with a tech company in Silicon Valley. But we went through iterations. There's multiple ways. There's probably about a dozen ways to track remote employees. First things about the ArcWest application is that it has these nine domain areas. Each one of these domains has activities. And we're going to stay mostly in the space planning uh, and management area and around uh, personnel and occupancy and space inventory and performance. So in the personnel and occupancy in this role, which is AFM role, we have the, the background set up, the uh, client to locate an employee and then the manager who actually has some reports. One of my favorite ways is by using um, the room category and type. So I created this category called remote and called it remote worker. One of the things that I uh, would highly recommend is that you take the calculation totals to no totals so that your room counts don't get messed up by having a room category of remote. I also have a super category of other that is not vertical penetration service or usable area. These fields are used in the chargeback and area calculations and so I would recommend that you make those changes. In fact, you may even want to change this to occupiable equals no. And then I did a very similar thing with uh, underneath remote category, I have remote type. And what this does is it gives us some nice reporting. In fact, I think it's probably one of the best reporting that you can get. So we can now come in here and view employees by category and type. So here's my remote. And you can see that I now have one employee that is a remote worker. And uh, these calculations now work up. So in other words, the reason why the square footage didn't come up is because we took the area totals off. And so therefore, we don't have the average area, which is right. But we have an account that I have assigned one individual a category of uh, remote.